That's good. Man, I am really content now because I've had uh, some iced tea, sweet tea, there to drink, and that has made me content. I had thirst, and now I'm content. You're going to get in different situations, and um, where you are you content in those situations, or are you not content in those uh, situations? Well, I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and today we're talking, in, we're in Philippians, and we're talking about being content whatever the circumstances. And this is written by Paul, and Paul is writing while he's in prison here, okay? And so you have to keep that in mind when he's he's writing this in prison, and he has the nerve to say, I'm content in whatever cir circumstance I'm in, and he's writing from prison. So he's saying, I'm content even being in prison. That would be hard for us to say, but he, he um, has the nerve uh, to say that. Uh, because he's really he really is content in those situations. Um, he's trusting in God, um, and God has taken care of him. So let's read here today. This is taken from Philippians 4, uh, verses 10 through 13. Okay? I rejoice greatly in the Lord that at last you renewed your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. We talked about that whole verse yesterday. All right? Verse 11, I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. Okay, so Paul is, is he's saying, you know, you had the opportunity to show um, concern for me. We talked about that yesterday from verse 10. And he's saying, I'm not bringing this up because I'm in need. He's saying, because I'm, I'm content in whatever circumstance I'm in. All right, let's keep reading. Verse 12, I know whatever the circum, I know whatever it is in in I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation whether well fed or hungry whether living in plenty or in want I can do all this through him who gives me strength okay that's a hard thing to say because I it's easy for me to say I can be content in everything when everything's provided for me okay um, you know, if I'm, let's say I'm a teenager living at home and I can go, oh yeah, I can be content in anything. Yeah, I can be content in everything because my parents are providing for my schooling, they're providing my food, they're providing for my clothes, they're providing everything for me. So I can go, oh yeah, I can be content in everything because, you know, if I don't like this shirt, my mom buys me this shirt or whatever. So I can be content with that. But the, the it comes down the rubber meets the road when you lose everything or you don't have much and you go, am I content with this? Um, and that's what Paul was saying. You think he had a lot of stuff in prison? No, you look around here in, in this prison cell. I've got basically a bed back here. I've got a toilet and that's about it. Okay. And Paul said, hey, you know what? I'm content whatever circumstance I'm in. I've got a bed. I've got a toilet. Yippee. So... That's the thing, and I encourage you to look at your life too, and and say, "Am I content in every cir circumstance?" Uh, and like I said, it's easy to if you got a lot, it's easy to say, "Oh yeah, I can, be, I'm content." But it's when you uh, lose this stuff or, or don't have this stuff, are you content in those situations? And and Paul was, he was trusting God, and he was perfectly content. Uh, he said with that. So uh, look at that in your lives today. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey through Philippians. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.